break. I'm Andrew Caravella from the KFI 24-Hour Newsroom. SoCal Gas customers are seeing inflation work its magic with higher bills. Customers have complained to the utility and online and social media posts. SoCal Gas VP Jillian Wright tells KTLA customers are using more gas. Customers can use three to seven times more gas in the winter than in the summertime um, because of the colder temperatures and using their heat. Wright says the normal increase of demand in winter months combined with higher natural gas and shipping costs are to blame for the higher bills. And the L.A. School District says student sports can resume starting this weekend. The district's sports season has been on hold for the past week because of the recent spike in COVID-19 cases. Officials say surgical face masks will now be required for coaches and team staff as a safety measure. Weather brought to you by Mattress Firm. Today we'll have about a 20% chance of rain, 60s for the Southland. Sunday will be mostly cloudy with highs in the 60s and a little warming up to the low 70s at the beaches, Metro LAOC, the valleys, and IE. We lead local from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Andrew Caravella. All in closing, Costa Mesa 4L5, southbound Harbor to Bristol. Caltrans work till around the top of the hour there. There are detour signs in place. Just some minor delays at this time approaching the scene. Northbound side of the 4L5 at the 710. All lanes remain shut down there as well. This is the crash investigation and cleanup. And you are seeing a sudden slowdown as you approach that as well. You can exit at Long Beach Boulevard. Take that over to Wardlow right on Alameda back to the 4L5. The 710 South transition to the 405 North also shut down right now due to a separate crash. Minor delays along the main line. KFI in the sky helps get you faster. I'm Robert DeBucky. Unjunk your sleep at Mattress Firm's new bed, new you sale. Start the year off right. Shop select mattresses from top brands starting at $159.99. Plus, you'll even get immediate delivery. Don't miss out. For my small bookstore to thrive, I can't just sell books. So I created a radio ad at iHeartAdBuilder.com to tell everyone about our author events, our story hours for kids, and our amazing lattes. Now we're busier than ever. I'd call that a success story. A custom radio ad from iHeartAdBuilder is the fast, affordable way to drive customers to your business. Put the power of radio to work for you. Get started now at iHeartAdBuilder.com. Research shows that when a parent consistently responds to an infant's needs, a trusting relationship and lifelong attachment develops. Babies who are held and comforted when they need it during the first six months of life tend to be more secure and confident as toddlers and older children. This is just one of the reasons why California's Paid Family Leave Program provides partial wage replacement benefits to California workers who take time off from work to bond with a new child. This is your moment. The moment to perfect the delicate art of swaddling. The moment for bonding time, family time, and a little tummy time. The moment to remember that these are the moments that matter. If you're a new mother welcoming a baby into your family, Paid Family Leave can provide you up to eight weeks of partial wage replacement. This is your moment. Take it. To learn more, visit CaliforniaPaidFamilyLeave.com. Moments matter. On April 4th, 1968, a lone gunman assassinated Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in Memphis, Tennessee. At least, that's the official story. The MLK Tapes podcast explores rare recordings of eyewitness testimonies and interviews with the people who were there to reveal the real story of the plot to kill Martin Luther King. Listen to the MLK Tapes on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Brought to you by DuckDuckGo. Protect your privacy online for free with DuckDuckGo. We've weathered this pandemic by doing our part to protect each other. So let's stick to what's proven to keep us safer from COVID-19 and its variants, like masking up in public indoor settings, getting tested before and after traveling and gathering, and staying home if you feel sick. Let's keep our immunity strong. Visit myturn.ca.gov or call 833-422-4255 to find the vaccine or booster near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. By now, you've heard the news. Boosters for Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available. They help keep your immunity strong and help keep you and others protected against COVID-19 and its variants. Visit myturn.ca.gov to find out if you're eligible and to find a booster near you. Let's keep each other safer and healthier this winter. Get your booster, and don't forget to get your flu shot, too. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Need new hires in the new year? You need Indeed to help find your next hire. 
When you sponsor a post, you get a list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. KFI AM640. broke ground on its Do Good Village in Land Lakes, Florida. It's the first of its kind, a community of 110 homes for the Foundation's program recipients, so together, families can heal. A special place where families know that their neighbors understand and care. A community where the children of our nation's fallen or catastrophically injured heroes can grow and experience life together. The Foundation's Do Good Village is going to help these families beyond measure, and it's all thanks to an extraordinary donation of many acres of land and your generosity. Help America's greatest heroes and their families heal together. Make the Do Good Village the first of many communities like it. With every mortgage, free home, the Foundation makes good on its promise to do good and never forget the sacrifices our heroes have made for our country and our communities. Donate $11 a month to Tunnel the Towers at T2T.org. That's T, the number 2, T. Org. Is your current home loan the right fit for you? Your historic low rates may be a great reason to refinance, but when matched with an expertly chosen loan from Loan Depot, you could be saving money and paying more towards the bottom line. Call a Loan Depot loan officer and ask about our 27-year smart term loan or our 10-year arm loan. Get a great rate matched with a great loan by calling 866-888-LOAN or visit LoanDepot.com. At Loan Depot, Home means everything. Rates are subject to change. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing opportunity. NMLS number 174457. Licensed in all 50 states. Has this ever happened to you? My friend was telling me about his new pair of headphones, so I looked him up online. Now, everywhere I go is a creepy ad for those headphones I looked at one time. I hate that feeling like I'm being watched. I got DuckDuckGo and saw a difference right away. With one download, you can search and browse privately, avoiding trackers all for free. It's that simple. Take back your privacy online with DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. You are listening to Coast to Coast AM. Connie Willis here. How are you? Hey, if you'd like to find me outside of Coast to Coast AM, you can go to ConnieWillis.com. Currently, I have, uh, for the new year, half off of my regular price for my paid, exclusive, private membership. Within that membership, you will receive uh, interviews, conversations, I like to say more, of uh, Far Out Thursday and Bigfoot Friday. These are live, interactive shows, as well as Project Creepy Hotspots, where... We can go three to five days live streaming on a real virtual expedition. You go with me virtually. 
you're right there deciding some of the plays and what to do and and some of you try to tell me to get closer to what we might hear in the bush somewhere and i'm like no <laughs> i know it's over there um, um, you know, it's, it's the real deal. It really is real research and we're doing that. We're deep into it. The community is fantastic. People that join uh, pretty much stay and I really enjoy that. We've become uh, very close. They're really, really good people. So if you're one of those that want to go in there and really research, get deep into the subjects, compare notes, see what's similar. Uh, it's not a podcast. It's not 101. It really is uh, deep into learning what it's all about and getting communication with what's around us, all these strange things. So it's um, Blue Rock Talk with Connie Willis. Just go to ConnieWillis.com. And by the way, Dr. John Gray will be on uh, February 3rd or 4th, whatever is that Thursday. That'll be the far out Thursday he's going to be on. And it's all interactive. It's all live. So you could uh, also say, hey, and see him face to face and all that kind of thing. So it's a lot of fun. Half off now, but it's a limited time at ConnieWillis.com. And I'm looking forward for you to be there with me, Dr. John Gray. And thanks for being here. This is our last segment with the open lines as well as with you. And I want to make sure we get everything in. But I do want to go back to the grieving uh, information that you were telling us. You you have so much information, John. Do you, do you ever just take a rest? <laughs> I rest a lot. I think, though, when I rest, I, I meditate. Um, yeah, I, was, you know, I thought that was going to be My last little section was too much to give, too much information, too short of time. But it's in my book. But very quickly, whenever you're upset, there's always deep inside the sadness of losing your partner, so write letters to her or him uh, saying how much you appreciate him or her and all the good qualities and tell everybody, all your friends again and again, how much you miss them. And then they say, oh, you should get over it. And you say, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine. I just need to talk about it and it feels really good. Because everybody wants you to get over it so fast. Like give yourself a chance to breathe and feel how much you miss them, but because all their good qualities, talk about that again and again and again, write letters to them, imagine them writing letters back to you when you do the second part, which is let yourself feel guilty for all the ways you didn't give them what you wish you could have given. It's so easy to look back at your mistakes and wish I'd done better, and she deserved better, or he deserved better, I wish. So you, you let yourself go into those feelings of guilt, but then you write a letter to yourself from them having them understand you and forgive you and love you and remember all the good things. You have to create this continued dialogue as you say goodbye. And then also, you let yourself experience your fears, the fear this will never go away. Just let yourself express those fears, I'll never be happy again, I'll never find love again. You have to acknowledge that, it's like a child being scared. And then you get in touch with what I really want and what I really want is to heal my heart and move on in my life, have love. It doesn't mean I don't love my partner and let go of the guilt that you feel when you start to love and when you start to have sex with somebody, you know, you, you really start, am I cheating on my spouse? You know? <laughs> no, they want you to be happy, you're not cheating on them, you're fulfilling your human needs for love. Because it's through making love that we can be close. But then don't go overboard, because when you get overboard, you really go too far up your man to your estrogen side, then you'll want to back up, back up to your separation, come back to your male side, but then you'll work it out to balance. And for women, if you go right into it, you'll bond too much and become needy. So we have to remember all relationships require distance and closeness, distance and closeness. We both have that, our male and female side, to find that balance. How long do you think it takes uh, to go through those different steps with grieving? I'm sure it's different with everybody, but... It's different, but I think one year of, of, of healing within yourself, and then you start healing through relationship. And that's a key thing, is you have to, you have to get back on the horse. So many, so many people just don't take that step again, and you've got to take that step to find that it's safe, and you can get what you want, and you need that. We can't just ignore our human needs for intimacy, more so today than ever before. Because as you know, Maslow talked about stages of, of evolution, which is first we're about survival, and when our survival needs are fulfilled, then security becomes very important. Then after security becomes important, then comes belonging. We need to feel we're part of something, but then when you have belonging, uh, then you have to feel, you know, who am I, what can I achieve, self-sufficiency. But then comes intimacy. Intimacy is this really important need that we have, and that's our society. When civilization gets to the point, you need intimacy. And then from intimacy, 
then we get to self-actualize and that's our personal growth. And a lot of people are into personal growth, but they don't progress. They just keep going in circles because they don't have intimacy. Intimacy is the foundation of balancing the masculine and the feminine within you. And then you have genius that comes forth. You know, most of the great geniuses in the past had crazy sex lives, crazy relationships, crazy addictions. Because by birth, they were just, they had more connective tissue between the left and right hemispheres of the brain. In a sense, they're more like our modern children today, a little gender fluid where they have access to both their male and female sides, but they couldn't maintain it, they couldn't integrate it, so they had these drug addictions. And almost every great author, novel person in the past was an alcoholic or a drug addict. You know, all the great artists were, and they all had these very strange, painful sex lives because they couldn't balance the masculine and feminine side of them. Lock card line number three, we're going to head out to Joseph in Boston. Joseph, uh, welcome to Coast to Coast. Do you have a question for Dr. John Craig? Yes, hi, Dr. John Gray. I have a couple comments and a question. I'm visually impaired, and I come from a broken home, and I didn't have any love. What do you think of bisexual? I don't think that's wrong. I mean, if you get turned on to both people like your father did and your mother understood, I don't think it's wrong. I just don't like these women feminists. <clears throat> and I talked to a guy. He says, my girlfriend's Brazilian. She's totally different. These women, they hate men, and they want to, I mean, it's okay to do some things that men can do, but... You know, women still should still be women. Uh, they're different. They look they look at you different today from what sighted people tell me. And uh, everybody wants to sue for sexual harassment. Years ago in the 1980s, Dr. Gray, a lady walked up to me and hugged me and kissed me on the face. And I thought that was lovely. Today it's different. What do you think of this? I'd like your comments on Well, I appreciate what you're saying. Uh, I think that we're way out of balance and that when women go... To, when women are on their male side, they don't have a culture that can support them coming back to their feminine side. Going to their feminine side and depending on someone for love and support, it feels like it feels scary for them. It feels like weakness for them. And when women are not on their female side, then they can't forgive and appreciate and accept and trust men. You see, femininity is attracted to masculinity. Masculinity is attracted to femininity. This is a polarity. And yeah, society's going in the wrong direction. Thank you for your call. You're absolutely right. And what we need is we need love. And sexuality, connecting with uh, uh, someone who cares for you, and touches you, and holds you, kisses you, making love is something we all need. It's very, very important. And you know, I know a lot of people are listening are old folks too. And <laughs> me. <laughs> and, nice. <laughs> and, and they're not having sex with what they can do is first of all they can be warming they can warm up by starting to get non-sexual massages everybody needs non-sexual massages if you're not having someone you love having sex with it should be you know getting someone to touch your naked body is very very important it's a need that we have and it wake, wakes up our sexuality it softens increases estrogen in women increases testosterone in men gives us a little motivation and then to have a girlfriend boyfriend husband wife where you can just Maybe you're not always going to have sex, but let's go get naked in bed and hold each other and kiss and touch and see what happens. And I promise you, everyone listening, if what happens to a lot of men is then they get excited and then they masturbate. When you masturbate, you're losing your life force. You're losing your life energy. Part of my success in life is, for whatever reason, I was able to be a monk for nine years where I never masturbated. And what that does is it builds up a potency it allows you to experience your oneness with God. And that's also part of the whole destru destruction of the world. It's the, loss, it's the loss of the believing in a higher power. I mean, if you watch these, you know, the, what are these uh, uh, Academy Awards and the Music Awards ceremony, it's like decadence. It's like you're in hell. You've got a demon dancing and women flaunting themselves and tempting men, awakening that, activating the primitive brain, which deactivates the higher self, which can connect with God. So. We, we want to like manage sexuality correctly but and use it just to feel love. That's the key, is that don't get just lost in the pleasure and don't get addicted to ejaculating, but start to sublimate this, the need to ejaculate by feeling more love, more love, more love. And still, you know, for younger men, they, they have to ejaculate at least once a week, generally speaking, but they don't need more than that. And the research has shown, I talked earlier, is that when you don't ejaculate for six days, on the seventh day, your testosterone levels increase 50%. And then they go back down to baseline. 
But then over time, as in the case of me, they continue to rise for a lifestyle. The higher and higher and higher, so I'm 70, and it's 50% higher. Whereas for most men, it goes down at 35 and keeps going down, down, down. And if it is down, as for most men, just start managing your sexuality correctly and, and not wasting it all through porn or ejaculation or fantasies. And the worst thing that's happening today, which you won't have to experience because you're blind or visually impaired, is this whole uh, digital universe they want to create for you. Facebook's turning into meta, where you put these goggles on, and life is, is fantasy. It's all fantasy. And it overstimulates the neurons in the brain so that they can't appreciate reality. This is what we're seeing with 20-year-old boys. They do so much masturbation through porn they get with a girlfriend and they can't get it they can't get an erection after two or three times uh, this is happening we have infinite 20 year olds you know it's like he used to be impossible for that to happen so purity we've lost our purity we've lost our modesty we've lost our humility we're a crazy society we have to bring it back and what brings it back is good relationships love and our children can grow up loving themselves more. I hope that you read my book, What You Feel You Can Heal. It's a very simple book to read, but I think it will help. Um, I don't know if it's in Braille, but I know that there's audio books of this, so that might be helpful. Love the audio books. Open lines continue here. Let's see if we can grab as many calls as possible. Last segment here. Gretchen is back from east of the Rockies out of Texas. We reached out to you before Gretchen you were gone but you're back welcome to coast to coast you have a question for John Gretchen are you there Gretchen yep yep I, I kind of heard her but then I think she 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 moved on there so let's hit uh, George wildcard line one out of Michigan hey George welcome to coast to coast hi how are you great hey, George good yeah, I don't really have a question. I just uh, want to make a comment that uh, you know, I've been with my wife since 1958, and uh, she passed away uh, October 26, 2020. And uh, she was my partner. She was my partner. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just talk to me about she, she was my bride. She was everything to me. And I'm just thinking that a lot of times uh, uh, we're not giving the women to, uh, the others are serving, they're not getting the credit that they should, should have. Yeah. Uh, but they're just, uh, a lot of times people will say, well, oh, it's just, my wife's just a housewife. What do you mean she's just a housewife? You know how that important that is? Taking care of the kids? And, That's right. And, you're speaking the truth. George, sorry to hear this. Absolutely. Sorry for your loss. I know that's very tough. And uh, John, we've just got several minutes. If you can answer him back in some way, that'd be well, great. Want, George, you're right there, and you just want to call and talk about your wife. Tell us two things that you yeah. have loved about her. I don't think he's gone already. Oh, okay. As yeah. soon as he started to talk, I started to cry. See, that's no. what we need to do. Is we need, when we lose someone, we need to take time to again and again and again talk about how good they are, how wonderful they are. And what he said is the truth. You see, it's no longer, there's no dignity for women to have children and take care of the home, take care of the relationship. So what's happening is we put, they put it, feminism crashed that, it stomped on femininity. And so now women are seeking to have their self-esteem by being more like men, but they're not happy. They're not happy when they try to be like men. It's a temporary little little glimpse, just like if a man is taking drugs, you know, he's happy while he does it, but it doesn't last, it just degenerates your life. Do what you like, do what you have to do, men, to be a man, and for women, start doing more what you love to do, what you like to do, not what you have to do. It's that feeling of, I have to, that produces testosterone, and cause any woman who's unhappy who comes to me for counselor for 50 years, you, what you hear is them saying, oh, I have to do this, I have to do this, I don't get to do this, I have no time for myself. All of that is being too far on your male side. Dr. John Gray, love you. So happy to be a part of this night with you. Thank you so much for all your insight. Where, where do people find you? Okay, marsvenus.com Mars forward slash gift. And a free seminar, how to get everything you want 
and the whole worksheets and everything to help you, you know, like a learning. And it's four different courses, one for single men, one for single women, one for men in relationship, one for women in relationship. So, so helpful. And it, it's free. You should try it out. You'll love it. We get rave, rave reviews. Hopefully we'll see you there at MarsVenus.com. And then we have all these wonderful free blogs and we also have other courses and everything. Thank you so much, Dr. John Gray. So nice to have him here on Coast to Coast, as well as you guys for listening, too, from the foothills of the Colorado Rockies. want to say thanks to a crew of people that make this happen, starting from Julie Talbot all the way through with Phil May, Lisa Lyon, Tommy Dan Heiser. You all know Tommy. Dan Galanti. Thank you, Dan. Stephanie Smith, Mike Cosio, Lex Longhood, Sean Lutasor, Tim Banoff, Tina Salvati, Donald Walker on the phones tonight as well. Greg Foster, Ryan Stacy, Chris Burroughs, Tom Nairns, Penny Girl, Adam Thompson, and uh, see, uh, one of our new people was Jeremiah Harris. I'm sure he's still around too, not just on tonight though. Ian Punnett, Lisa Gar, Richard Searett, happy birthday to you Richard this past week. George Knapp, and of course our man George Norrie. For the Coast to Coast AM team, I'm Connie Willis, and until we meet again, hey, keep watching the night skies. Continue with me to seek the strange and uncover the unknown. So, for Coast to Coast, I'm Connie Willis. Have a good night.
but it says my package is still in transit. I'm Brian Bruman, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. A rail company is asking LA County DA George Gascon to help stop people from looting cargo trains. Thousands of boxes can be seen on train tracks in the Lincoln Heights area from people tossing them out of containers. This man says he's seen people fighting over the boxes. There's like here you know, about four or five guys, so they're fighting over who's who gets what. Union Pacific Railroad has sent a letter to LA County DA George Gascone urging him to rethink his policies. It says the alleged thieves are generally released back on the streets in less than 24 hours of being arrested. Blake Trolley, KSI News. President Biden says his infrastructure bill is helping with improvements across the nation. This bipartisan infrastructure law I signed a few months ago unites us around uh, things we all depend on. Whether you're in rural Kentucky or downtown Philadelphia, you should be able to turn on a faucet and drink clean water. Biden signed the infrastructure bill two months ago. He said the measures modernizing highways, ports, airports, and old bridges. Biden says old water and sewer systems will be upgraded, and he said the $1 trillion infrastructure plan is creating good new jobs. Americans are being encouraged to upgrade from cloth face masks to surgical masks to have the most protection against the Omicron variant. The CDC says people should try to wear N95 or KN95 masks whenever possible because they filter out 95% of airborne particles. The CDC is saying that the more highly protective masks are important for Americans in high-risk settings and those at risk of severe disease. ABC's Dave Packer says the CDC issued the updated guidance yesterday, but price gouging for the surgical masks may make it harder for some people to get them. More than 80% of all adult hospital beds in LA County are occupied, and health officials say they're concerned with maxing out bed space. County Health Director Barbara Ferrer says more than 4,200 patients are being treated for COVID-19, 600 of whom are in an ICU. Ferrer says almost all the patients being treated for the virus are unvaccinated. The health department says 68% of all people in LA County are fully vaccinated. The recent rain and snow has helped California move out of the worst drought category. The U.S. Drought Monitor map that was released this week shows that there are no longer any parts of the state that are considered to be in an exceptional drought. About 45% of the state was in that category three months ago. And southern states are preparing for dangerous winter weather this weekend. States of emergency have been declared for Virginia, West Virginia, Georgia, and North and South Carolina. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp says emergency crews are ready to deal with the snow and ice. We're mobilizing and prepared to deploy resources as needed to protect our state, but also be ready to assist neighboring states if needed. Some states are expecting to get more than a foot of snow. And would you believe it if we told you that a living being just turned 190 years old? Slow and steady doesn't fast when the race. Well, if you're a tortoise named Jonathan. The reptile has now become the oldest tortoise ever. Officials award the record to Jonathan, who is believed to be at least 190 years old. Fun fact, he was at least 50 when he arrived on St. Helena Island in the Atlantic Ocean back in 1882. This is his second world record as he also holds the record for the world's oldest living land animal. Officials say Jonathan is blind and can't smell, but he's in good spirits. Andrew Caravella, KFI News. We're looking at a crash on the 60. In Mira Loma, the westbound start of the 60. At Wanda, all lanes are currently shut down due to this crash. You're backed up starting around Country Village Road. We also have a crash in San Dimas. He's starting out of the 210 to 4 Foothill Boulevard. The carpool lane taken away. Flow drive starting around St. Dimas Avenue. And in Westminster on the southbound side of the 405 to 4 the 22 crash and car fire has only the left lane open. You're back up starting at Steel Beach Boulevard. We also have cow fans ongoing in Costa Mesa 405 southbound Harvard or Bristol. All lanes shut down here. They should be wrapping up that project in the next little while. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robert Bucky. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it'd be too difficult or take too much time? Then try Babbel. Whether you want to learn Spanish for future travel plans, French to connect with extended family, or maybe German to land a new job, Babbel works because it's built around real life. It teaches you everyday practical conversations that you'll actually use. All you need is 15 minutes a day, and you'll be on your way to confidently speaking a new language in just a few weeks. Babbel is designed by real language experts using a modern conversation-based technique that makes learning fun, engaging, and best of all, memorable. It starts by teaching you words and phrases. Then sentences gradually get more complex. Soon you're practicing short conversations about real life topics. And with 14 languages to choose from and lesson topics like travel, business, relationships, and more, you'll be sure to learn what matters most to you. Babbel. Language for life. Learn a new language with ease. Go to babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com.
South on weather from KFI. There's a wind advisory in LA County and parts of the IE until 3 this afternoon. Cloudy skies with a chance of showers. Highs in the mid 60s to low 70s at the beaches. Upper 60s in Metro LA and OC. Low 60s to low 70s in the inland valleys and upper 60s in the inland empire. And there's actually a tsunami advisory this morning. Uh, there's an underwater volcano eruption near the Tonga Islands in the Pacific. High waves could hit the coast around 7 4 this morning. Try to avoid the beaches. Right now it's 55 degrees in San Clemente, 63 in Hacienda Heights, 61 in Sherman Oaks, and 55 in Pasadena. We lead local live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Brian Baruch. designer, and I am here for you like I am every Saturday morning from 6 to 8, here to be an advocate as you wrestle with construction issues on your home, uh, here to be a design mentor for you, because when it comes to transforming your home, <clears throat> we say it every week, design matters most, and, you know, to be a friendly voice on your Saturday morning, because who does not need a friendly voice, albeit a Slightly froggy voice, but a friendly froggy voice on your Saturday morning as you uh, continue to take on the noble work of turning your ordinary house into an extraordinary home. The team, <coughs> this frog is not leaving my uh, my throat, by the way. I have to have a sip of coffee. The team is all here. Sam is on the board, as per usual, doing his magic. Uh, Misty's taking the weekend off uh, to spend a little extra time with the kids. I don't what is that? <laughs> no, she's taking a well-deserved weekend off to spend some time with the kiddos. Morgan is in with us. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. How are you? Uh, we're good. How was your Friday night? Oh, it was very uneventful. I didn't go out. I have no interesting stories. You have no interesting stories from this Friday night. No, we no had. Uh, <laughs> Wow, what the, what the heck was that? <clears throat> All right. Our, uh, our exciting Friday night was that, uh, you know, we went out with friends to, uh, to some, Bra got some Brazilian food. Moqueca. You know what Moqueca is? I don't know. Um, what is the, uh, what, Moquejete, uh, you know, when you go, uh, some Mexican restaurants have Moquejete, it's like a, it's like a seafood stew that uh, is that gets served up in a kind of a lava rock bowl. Anyway, uh, Moqueca is the uh, the Brazilian version of it, and uh, it's also the name of the restaurant in our town, which is like the best Brazilian restaurant in Southern California. Anyway, it was uh, delicious. The Brazilians, they ha they know how to do meat. I'll tell you that right now. Those guys know how to cook a steak. All right, so yeah, that was about it. That was, a, that was as exciting as our evening. It was pleasant. We had a pleasant evening. Uh, who else is here? Tina, my uh, my life partner, my business partner. Wow, that elephant is just all over it today. Uh, <laughs> it'll wake you up in the morning. Uh, Tina is here, co-founder of House Whisperer, my fellow designer, and uh, my best bud in all the world. As per usual, she is here getting it done. And Brian Baruna is on the news desk. Hey, Brian. Good morning. How is your Saturday morning? Pretty interesting. Tsunamis happening first thing in the morning. Volcano. What's with that? Yeah, it's a pretty crazy video if you uh, look that up online. I haven't seen it yet. You have you seen it, Tina? Okay. All right. I'm going to check it out when we go to break. Uh, anyway, uh, we're all here. 
Uh, you know, the secret to uh, Saturday mornings listening to our program is that uh, your odds of getting on the air and uh, you and I talking about whatever is going on with your house, uh, best ever. Just because, you know, you know how it is Saturday mornings. If you're up right now, you know, you are in the minority of people. And, uh, and so, good on you. So I'm going to give out the number so that you can uh, give me a call. And uh, we can talk about what is going on with your home. The number to reach me, 833-2-ASK-DEAN. 833, the number 2, ASK-DEAN. All across this fine nation of ours, uh, <clears throat> I guess some, you know, on the East Coast, it's like uh, 910, so that's not a big sacrifice at all. Anyway, give me a call. Let's talk about what's going on with your home. 833-2-ASK-DEAN. Morgan is standing by. The phone lines are open. And uh, we will be going to the phones in just a bit. In the meantime, uh, what is today's topic? I'll tell you where we're going today. I want to talk about, uh, well, we titled today's show, House Therapy, Five Life Lessons. Uh, it's the time of year where people are going to be making uh, home improvement plans. Uh, you know, first of the year, and you're thinking, okay, all right, all right, this is the year. You know, not just New Year's resolutions personally. But uh, people are making plans for their house. What does it mean when we say the word home improvement? What does it mean to really improve your home? Have you ever thought about that? How do you discover what is truly going to make it better? How are you trying to make it better? And uh, what's going to make the biggest impact, most importantly, on your house with the smallest impact on your bank account? These are critical questions that uh, architects and designers wrestle with uh, constantly, or I should say should be wrestling with if they're worth their salt and they're helping their clients out the best they can. When it comes to transforming your home, I always say, as you know, design matters most. <clears throat> and we're going there today. But before you can redesign your home, you have to diagnose it. You've got to know you know what, here's exactly what's wrong with this house. And then, after we have diagnosed what the real problems are, I mean the real problems, not just, ew, I hate my house, oh, I don't like, no. Specifically, like, hmm, okay, this is what this uh, section of the house is uh, is doing, doing to me, this is what's going wrong with it, this is why we don't like spending time here, this is why this doesn't work. We need to diagnose what is really wrong with the house before we can get to the business of redesigning. Because I will tell you right now, there are, uh, and this is not an exaggeration, there are a thousand ways to redesign your home. All right? Uh, but there's only a, a few choices that we can make that are going to hit the nail on the head, as it were, in regards to who you are and currently where your home is falling short. A home is, uh, is always a combination of two things. A home is an extremely practical and an extremely emotional thing. That's what architecture is. You hear me say this a lot. Architecture can be essentially boiled down to shelter and story. That's just my way of saying that uh, all architecture, as in I would argue most of life, uh, for as a human being, uh, is uh, is reducible to practical issues and emotional issues. The practical stuff is pretty easy to spot, Perfect. but the emotional problems uh, may require a bit of house therapy to uncover. Uh, <clears throat> most people think, well, I really need a practical technician in here. Yeah, there's definitely a time for that, but like I said, practical issues, you know, the door either closes and latches or it doesn't. Uh, the hot water heater fires on when it needs to or it doesn't. The roof leaks or it doesn't. The windows open and close properly or they don't, okay? These are the practical issues among men uh, in a house. And, you know, we address those constantly as we will again uh, this morning uh, with your calls. Nevertheless, really, what we do... When we build houses, when we wrap structures around ourselves, the goal of architecture is really beyond meeting those practical needs of shelter that we have. 
is you know meeting us emotionally where we are. We could all live in uh, plain concrete boxes that are highly practical and just get all of the practical uh, elements of life taken care of. But we don't. There's a reason why. Because so much of who we are is wrapped up in emotions. Now, getting to the heart of what is emotionally wrong with your home. Emotionally.